Hi, <clears throat> I'm Al from RWS, and I'm going to show you in less than five minutes uh, a useful technique that's very simple to set up and execute to drill a long straight hole in end grain of a 4x4. I'm going to drill a hole in here about 17 inches long, a half inch diameter hole. First thing I do is I clamp my work my workpiece to a bench or a table or whatever you got. I'm using these clamps. They don't have to be this kind of clamp, but they're easy and fast. Then I use a guide board just to straight anything. Clamp it to the side. I want to have a lot of room right over here because this is where I'm going to guide my drill along this side. Clamp that here with a couple of clamps. So everything's nice and rigid. Okay, next, <clears throat> uh, the drill that I've selected is a uh, called an installer's bid. It was I think $14.99 or something at Home Depot. It's um, or Lowe's, I don't remember. Uh, but it's 3 8 inch diameter for the shank and it's a half inch diameter at the end and the key thing is nice and long. And the other key thing is it's not this kind of a bit because this kind of a bit with a uh, point on it is going to follow the grain. So I've reground the tip of this to be look, um, a lot more like a brad point bit except there's no point. I want it to cut with the outer edge uh, as the guide instead of the point. Uh, this bit started like this, but uh, using a gr hand grinder or a, a pedestal grinder, I reground it like that. You'll see there's a little bit of a um, little bit of relief there, and you can see that it's it's shorter in the middle than it is on the sides. Okay, so that's a half inch. This is three eighths. I took a block of wood and I laid out a, a hole here, which I'm going to use here to, uh, to, to determine where that hole's going to be. So I, I laid it out halfway and halfway here, but whatever your location de uh, demands. The key thing about this is the hole I have here is 3 eighths, so it fits on this shank very nicely. Okay, so I put it here uh, to locate my, locate my hole. This is a transfer punch but you could use a brad point uh, bit 3 8 or just drill a little bit there would work too. So that locates where I want my hole to be. Now I'm going to take something with a point on it, okay, and I'm going to start the hole from that locating point. I'm going to drill that maybe a half inch deep. Okay, this is a half inch diameter, same as my installer bit. This bit cannot start its own hole. It needs to have something to, some edge to go from. So that's what I got now. So now I take it, I'm gonna locate it, or guide it with this little block. And I put this in my drill. Okay. Now I get that here. I slide my guide block back so I got a night, lots of, you know, Nice and long, it's nice and straight. Put this upside down so I got room to work. And I will drill. Make sure you pull the chips out as you go. Just keep drilling all the way in until you've got your full length. You can even take the block off at the end to finish up the little bit to get that last half inch. And that's all there is to it.